You know what you should do? You should follow me on Twitter at Bromo018. Link in the description. Do it now. In a recent video, I provided a list of five teams that I had selected that I thought would be the best teams to rebuild ahead of FIFA 20 career mode. This time around, we're going to look at five teams that I think would provide the best Road to Glory experience. Teams that you can build up from the bottom and turn into a formidable force. Similar to the other video, we're going to try and make it as varied as possible in terms of the type of teams and location of teams in the list. So as to try and make something for everyone. As always, make sure that you let me know in the comment section any teams that you think would make a great Road to Glory save ahead of FIFA 20 and I'll do my best to get back to you. With that in mind, let's get into the list. So first on the list is Leighton Orient of the English League 2. Having just been promoted from the National League, you'll be starting from the bottom with essentially the lowest expectations and will have to get promoted through three divisions before being able to participate in the Premier League. Now, some of you may be wondering why I haven't chosen Salford City over Leighton Orient due to them winning the playoffs rather than winning the league. Well, two reasons. One, Leighton Orient already have had a lot of adversity to overcome even before the season has begun. Manager Justin Edinburgh, who had won promotion with the team back to League 2, tragically passed away shortly after the end of the season. He was well loved at the club, having done a great job in his short time there. And this meant that there was perhaps a period of turmoil whilst the club tried to recover from this horrible situation. This would only make it all the more impressive if Orient united and avoided relegation in the forthcoming season. The second reason is that Salford City is very much a manufactured club. It spends incredible amounts of money compared to the other teams in its division and spends far, far beyond its means. The model that the club employs isn't sustainable, neither in general but especially now the club is in the Football League where every club will be regulated via FIFA's financial fair play regulations. It's just not possible to spend the ridiculous amounts of money that it does spend when it has such a small fan base and makes such small amounts of money. Leighton Orient, on the other hand, has an established history and a good, good sized fan base to establish itself, something which, for me, is far more appealing than a plastic club. Moving on from Orient now, we switch our focus to Eintracht Braunschweig of the German third tier. On top of the fact that they are currently the only other country to have the third division available on FIFA, the reason I have chosen Braunschweig is due to the club's recent history. After gaining two promotions in three years to the Bundesliga, the club suffered relegation from the league in 2014. And despite almost returning shortly after, ended up hitting a bit of a freefall, last season finding itself just a few points above the relegation zone in the third division. With this road to glory save, you have the expectation to set yourself of returning to the Bundesliga once again, but this time being able to sustain the club's presence in the league and avoid relegation, which it was unable to do the last time around. The club has once before won the top league championship in the 1960s and of course your ultimate goal will be to increase that tally from just a single title to multiple. For most people that generally do the English leagues for a road to glory save, this could be a really entertaining way to switch it up for yourself and make it more interesting and last a longer amount of playing time. Third on the list of road to glory teams is a club that perhaps almost all of you will be unaware of, but really should consider playing as during career mode this season. And that is Pordenone Calcio. No, not Piemonte Calcio, but Pordenone Calcio. Now of the Italian Serie B. Last season saw the club promoted from the Serie C for the first time in the entire club's history against all of the odds. To put it into perspective, Pordenone's stadium has a capacity of just 3,000. No club in the top four leagues of the English football pyramid 
has a ground that is that small. This shows just how impressive this achievement is for the club and how you can really call it a project should you decide to start with them on career mode. The budget will be small, as will the squad, so it will be all about finding very, very cheap young players who can develop in order to be competitive and avoid relegation in the Serie B before trying to advance and press on to even greater things. This is certainly one that I'm going to think about doing sometime during the FIFA 20 lifespan. For the fourth team to make a road to glory save with, we're going to go to Holland and the Edda de Bezi. Sparta Rotterdam won promotion to the top tier in the Netherlands via the playoffs. And whilst this road to glory save would be quite different to the others, due to there only being one tier in the country on FIFA, it's the story itself that makes it appealing. Sparta Rotterdam are the eldest professional football club in the country, and of course, have to compete with their inner city rivals Feyenoord, which has proven to be a very tough task. Not only do you first of all have to avoid relegation as one of the teams with the lowest expectations in the division, but then you will have to overcome your city rivals, followed by overcoming the newly found dominance of Ajax and their young team of potential stars. Not only do you have that as a challenge in the league, but you then of course have the European stage to think about, both the Europa League and the Champions League. This is what will extend your road to glory save with Sparta beyond just a domestic challenge. It's certainly one worth thinking about. Last but not least on the list, we return to England and once again to the English League too. This time we've recently relegated Bradford City. The difference between this one and the Leighton Orient Road to Glory that we discussed earlier is that at Bradford, the expectations are perhaps far loftier and greater. Unlike recently promoted Orient, Bradford fans will be expecting an immediate return to League One, and anything short of that next season will be unacceptable. Bradford is a big club which will attract attendances that will far surpass any other team in the division and the fact that they weren't able to push on for promotion to the championship during their most promising recent years came as a surprise to many. Not only would this be an entertaining Road to Glory series to start from the bottom, but you would of course have these immediate expectations to live up to of instant promotion and success, which will make the save all the more interesting. The chances are that in FIFA, the budget will be bigger than the rest of the clubs in the league other than perhaps Salford City, so you will have at least have a bit of room to manoeuvre within the transfer market to bring in your own players. This is certainly one that I'll look into starting when the FIFA 20 release finally comes. Well, it's time for us to call it a day there guys. Let me know in the comments section down below what you think of my suggestions and also if you have any other clubs that you think would fit the bill nicely for a road to glory save on FIFA 20. And I'll do my best to get back to you. If you've enjoyed this and want to see more from the channel, then please subscribe and hit the bell button to get notifications every time that I upload. There is always regular content coming for the likes of FIFA and Pez. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it as I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.